guys! My name is Vivian and I'm the co-creator and artist of City of Dragons and I'm here to teach you how to make your very own comic. Helping me out today is my buddy Nate. Nate wants to make his own comic but he has no idea where to begin so I've written down the steps for you and Nate to follow along with me. First things first, do you have an idea of mine Nate? Yeah, you do? Great, so where do we go from there? The best thing to do first is to plan your story. Write down what happens in your comic. Here's Nate's comic for example. Now that you have your script, it's time to thumbnail. So what are thumbnails? Thumbnails are quick doodles of how you want your comic to look like. So for Nate's comic, we're just going to do the one page, but we have to plan what this page will look like and how the events will unfold. We'll use our script to help us out here. Hmm, it seems like Nate doesn't really like this idea. It seemed funny at the time from the script, but it doesn't quite work on the page, huh? It doesn't feel quite satisfying for Nate either. So let's go back to the script and change a few things, and then we can easily change our thumbnails afterwards. And that's why thumbnails are really important. So now we can quickly change the story without having to redraw an entire page. Now that thumbnails are done, that means we have our blueprint. And we can finally start drawing the comic! We can keep the thumbnails handy on the side as a little reference for us. You need to make sure that your sketch or pencils leave enough room for speech bubbles because you don't want to end up not having enough room for your text or your art. That'd be a big shame. So the next best step here is to write out your text. So I like to do the stage at the same time as pencils because I've had so many instances in the past where I've drawn the art and found that my speech bubbles didn't fit in the panel just like this. Ah, uh, poor Nate. But not to worry, there are many techniques we can use to fit the bubbles in. And finally we get to inking, my favourite part of comic making. This is the part where we can refine our drawing. Since we have our sketch layer, we can draw over it with ink. You can use ink pens, biros, your digital tablet, or anything you want to draw over. It's all completely up to you. The inking process could be described as just tracing over your art, but don't be fooled, there's a lot more to it than that. Inking is an art on its own, and there are many techniques you can learn to ink well. Like learning how to differentiate your lines to make details pop, or using different coloured lines. Just the possibilities are infinite. Again, depending on the style you're going for, your comic may already be done. Ah, but Nate here wants to make sure we see his magnificent blue scales, so we'll be colouring him in today. There are really no rules with colours, but it does help if you have an idea in mind of how you want your comic to feel. Since this comic is quite light-hearted, we're gonna be using quite bright colours. After adding some shading and highlights, we're all done. Take a look at it. There, don't you look good, Nate? So here's a visual reference for how I made Nate's comic. And there you have it, that's how you make a comic. Now you know how it's done, try it out for yourself. Can't wait to see what kind of stories you're going to make. Bye for now.